Hello. Get the game up here. Give it just a moment. As always. Ta-da! Here we are! Stream number two of the day. I was just really itching to play some games. I mean, that's primarily what I do on this channel anyways. I've got a new haircut. In case y'all weren't here earlier, I'll take my headphones off for a moment. It does pain me to have these on with this fresh haircut. I feel so free. I have, like, so much... I can't, I mean, I can't do it when I've got the headphones on, but I, I, like, have so much more freedom of movement now than I did with the long hair. Um, and it's just, it's just nice. It's just, sometimes you gotta cut off all your hair. Um, I was almost like, go shorter. I was almost like, do a bob. Do, like, really fucking short. But I, uh, my senses came back to me. Um, because I, I wouldn't rock that look. This is a good look for me. But I am eager to get into Calico. In fact, I'm just going to click into it right now. Because I think we're getting kind of close to the end of the game. I mean, there's a lot more to do. We have to we have to get, um, get the beach opened up. But I know this game isn't super long, so we must be getting closer. Oh yeah, and don't I have to like get get off the counter, little fox? I feel like I have to deliver one of these um, display cases to one of the other characters. I'm not sure. Well, she's waving at us something fierce. Let's see what she what what she wants. Eva, hey friendo, how are you doing today? Need anything? Not at the moment. All right, never mind then. Oh. Kitty, go down. We're gonna have to get a new cap uh, or capybara. There we go. Hey, greetings. What's for sale? Change an animal to a sparkling night version of itself. Yeah, I want that. Rainy day potion. Take a break potion. Set loose to fly around curious animals? I think it means the witch flies around. Change time to night. I think that's all I want. Think you'll be passing through there again soon? Definitely. If you're going soon, could you do something for me? I make herbal potions that Lumi uses at the onsen. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Um, place an order right before the landslide happened. If you take it up there, I can give you some of the payment. Sure, but why don't you take it yourself? It's kind of embarrassing. Okay, fine. To be honest, I've been avoiding going up there for a while now. It's because of Lumi, actually. The two of us have worked together forever. We used to spend hours hanging out in the onsen and uh, talking about new recipes for our potions. The thing is, ever since I turned myself into a cat, I just can't stand going into the hot springs. I tried to explain that to Lumi, um, that I just don't want to anymore, but she can't seem to accept it. She's always trying to come up with new magical cure that will make me enjoy the onsen again. But this is who I am now. I like it, and I wish she would get that. You should talk to her instead of avoiding her. I've tried to talk to her, but I always get too upset. Maybe you could try? But I get it if you don't want to get involved. I can try talking to her. Really, would you? Thank you, Traveler. May as well. We'll do it. There's a lot of side quests in this game, but it also seems like some of the side quests result in the like, solutions to the larger problems. Have some tea. Ugh. 
Let's go up this way. Now I've got a handful of quests right now. We'll do this one first. I also really want to get a new capybara. I just like riding them. They're important to me. I would love if we had a faster method of travel. Like, it's cool that we've got a teleportation back to the cafe, but I would love one for, like, up here. Because, oh my god. It's a bit of a hike. Hey, Harvey. Hey, Lumi. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to talk to you about something. Come on in, it's good to see you again. Oh, you brought Autumn's potions for me, thank you so much. Gosh, I was hoping she would come herself, though. I haven't seen her in ages because of the landslide. And I had a great idea for a magical swimsuit that would keep her dry while she soaks. She doesn't like to get wet anymore, now that she's part cat. Hey, Orc! Welcome back. How are you doing? How was the rest of your work day? Uh, did she say something to you? She feels like you don't accept her new form. Oh, oh dear. I don't feel that way at all. I think it's really cool that Autumn is part cat. She's so amazing and adaptable uh, for just being totally okay with it, too. I just feel bad that she can't use the onset anymore. She gives me a big discount because I always let her use, uh, let her soak for free, too. Besides, I miss hanging out with her in the hot springs. I think she'd appreciate hearing all that. Thanks, newcomer. I'll remember that. Anyway, here's payment for Autumn. Can you bring it back to her? Sure. I can do that. Hey, cat. Follow me. Actually, you know what? Go to the cafe. Walking home from your run now? How was your run? Follow me. This is our new, this is our new friend. Yeah, I don't know. I felt really, I felt kind of silly streaming like twice in the same day, but also I just like really wanted to play games. And that's the one downside of playing games on stream is that like I don't want to then play them off stream. I at least want people who've been following it to be able to watch the VODs. Hey British! How are you? Welcome in. It's sweaty, I'm flapping. Uh, yeah, I had to turn my AC on. It is hot. Um This game is cute. This game is extremely cute. Like, but it's actually, like, very good on top of it. Like, when I first started playing it, I was like, oh, this game is cute. The point of this game is that it's gonna be cute. That's gonna be, like, its thing. Um. Aww. I love it. Um, but it actually has a, a fair amount of, of depth to it. And, um. Especially with, like, the characters and, and the design of the characters. Been having a heat wave in the UK, which is probably a winter for you Americans. Just finished your novel. Currently editing it at the moment. Hey, congratulations on finishing your novel. What is... What's your novel about? I'm, and also, I'm curious, so a heat wave for you, is that how- what's the temperature for that? I only know Fahrenheit. I don't, I don't know Celsius, unfortunately. I used to know the trick. It was like, double it and- or no, like, multiply it by two and then add- subtract 32 or so, something like that. I want to talk to you about something. What is it? Uh, I'm here with a special delivery. 
Oh gosh, donuts! That's so sweet. I don't know what I did to deserve that, girl. And you've been so kind to deliver this. I'm sorry to have you running all over the place, but could I also ask a favor of you? The next time you head up to see Freya, could you bring her some cookies? It's totally, it's her total favorite. Uh, let her know it's from me. I can do that. Thanks, darling. I've got to get back to my owls, uh, but you have yourself a great day, okay? 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. It's probably, let's see. Right now it's 82 Fahrenheit where I am. So it's, seven, yeah, 70 would be nice. <laughs> That's New England. Oh my god, look at all these different colored rabbits. As I progress in the game, it's giving me new animals, which is cool. Need anything? I need your help. I kind of made a big mistake. I was getting impatient with Estelle's magic lessons. I took one of her wands without asking. Don't tell her. That doesn't sound good. All, uh, all I wanted to do is change a white bunny into a pretty rainbow bunny. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see the colorful rabbits. Really simple spell. Instead, somehow I turned one rabbit into seven rabbits that are each one of the seven colors of the rainbow. And they got loose. They're all over town. If Estelle finds out and be in serious trouble, can you help me out? How can I help? I'm gonna clean up all the rainbow fur here. Can you round up the seven bunnies? I guess. I hope that I can have that many follow me. Bunny, one. Follow me. Bunny number five. Oh, there's one over there. But yeah, so something about this game that I really like, and I, I harp on this every time that I play it, but one of the characters, um, like the characters are all different sizes and body types for one thing, but they also, um, they have one character that has like a bunch of stretch marks on their thighs. And that just, like, really resonated with me. It was like, I've got stretch marks. I'm a human. It's actually, it's this character here. Like, she's just awesome. I love her. And I just think it's really cool that they added that detail. There's a lot of rabbits that I have to round up to. Oh, there's one. We still need... Two more? Does this count as one of them? We need the red one. No, that one... The other ones had a number and a name. I don't think that one counts. Orc, when you go on your runs, how far do you usually go? Because when I go on, a, like, a jog or something, I'll usually go, like, one or two miles. I don't go very far. I'm still very bad at running. I'm still, like training myself to be able to run at all um two miles max okay yeah because i when i say that i run two miles i i mean that i um like the entire the entire trip is two miles and there's a lot of walking i'll i'll run for a couple blocks and then i'll switch to to walking and back and forth your novel is set in a fantasy world where the biggest realm is called the kingdom um and the mc is caught in a war between the Empire and Dragon Hearts, who are from the north and want to claim the throne back. Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. You're gonna have to throw a, a link uh, to it when it becomes available in the Discord. So I can check it out. Are you getting it, like, published by uh, a distributor? I don't really know the current. The current strats. 
All right, so I think that's all of them. I think that's all the bunnies. I hope they're all still following me. I picked them all up, so I think it counts. Oh, look, they all went back into the pen. With your walking breaks, it's like two and a quarter mile. Gotcha. No, I did get all the bunnies. This is the last one. Get in here, both of you. Did the thing, found them all, amazing. Now to get these bunnies turned back to normal before Estelle finds out. I'm gonna go study up on reversing spells. Thank you for all your help, take this as a gift. Please don't say anything to Estelle. I promise I won't mess around with any of her stuff again when she's not around. Yeah, you better not. Still have leftover corn ice cream that you might eat. I haven't had any of the ice cream that I bought from that stream um, since then. Like, I should have some ice cream tonight. Your last job, you would walk 20,000 steps a day. Holy shit. That's a lot. I don't even know how many, like, miles that is, but I know it's a lot. I like the- I like the carpet. It's cool. And I want all the recipes. Toby and table, Toby and chair, meh. What's for sale? Ooh, see, I want a cat tree. Not enough money! I can at least get the spooky side table. Ten miles a day. Holy shit. That's a lot. So I used to do a lot of walking for my job as well, doing retail. Just, like, constantly moving around the store, going up and down stairs, you know? It was- that was- a lot also but like it's a it's a different different kind of it was it wasn't nearly that much not nearly that much you don't need anything at the moment how did i go through all my money oh panda ears what do you need anything you don't all right Have you seen the game Slime Rancher? It's a game you think I might like. Yeah, I have. I'm pretty sure I own it. I'm pretty sure I have it. Um, I've, I've heard it's good. I should check it out. I was thinking about playing Undertale next. I've heard really good things about that. KY has recommended it to me. They're releasing a second one. That's good to know. I did the thing. I don't remember getting the thing. Oh, I do remember this. Oh, shit. Getting some stuff. Hell yeah. What's for sale? All this stuff that I can't afford. I'm a teeny bit distracted right now because uh, I must have used the wrong combination of my potions on my flowers just now. Something um, really weird is going on with one of with some of them. They've all started... You know what? Don't even worry about it. But I was just about to close the shop and run to Autumn's place. What happened? No, trust me, you don't need to see this. And neither does Dad. Uh, I forgot. I can't leave the shop alone or Pops might notice. Then he'll get all worried about my potion... That my potions are too dangerous again. Oh dear, do you think you could help me? Of course. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Okay, here's the plan. I'll make sure Pops stays away from the garden. I know, I'll distract him with board games. <laughs> with board games, hell yeah. Meanwhile, you run to Autumn's place and ask for her for a potion that will make the flowers stop eating each other. I can't wait to see these flowers. You played a bit of Undertale, seems interesting. I don't really know anything about it, but... Uh, since my partner recommends it so highly, it's it's kind of hard to to not check it out, you know. Okay, 
I'll do the thing. Hey, man. What's the story? Need anything? Not right now. They don't look like they're eating each other. But yeah, I, I don't know. What I'm definitely in the mood for after this game is just something like very narrative. Um, where the hell does Autumn even live? Oh, she's up on that potion. Yeah, okay. There's a game called Undermind, which is really good. It's a side-scrolling dungeon crawler. You've put over 100 hours into it, and you're only on level 3. Holy shit! That, that sounds like a good time sink. And yeah, that's the other thing. It's like, I definitely want a game or two that I'll play off-stream. Um, and something like that sounds like I would play it off-stream and really enjoy it. Because I, I like being able to just play a game. Right. And not have to worry about talking or keeping up with chat or all that. It's it's nice to just enjoy the hobby on its own. Oh, can't get up. Hi! I did the thing! Made it to the mountains and back already. Yep, I talked to Lumi too. Really, how'd that go? Um, I think I've gotten through to her. I still think the two of you should have a heart-to-heart -heart about things. And you need to renegotiate the discount you give her. She feels uncomfortable about it now. Gosh, I told her it wasn't a big deal, but I guess I wasn't listening to her when she said it mattered to her. Thanks, Traveler. I'll take my potions up there myself next time. Here, let me thank you for all your help. I wanted to talk to you about something. What brings you out here? Actually, I'm here on Lily's behalf. She had a little accident. She said she needs a potion to make her flowers stop eating each other. Goodness, on, what on earth did she... Oh, you know, now that you've said that, I actually see what could have caused that. Golly, what a quite what quite an oversight on my part. Okay, I'll try and whip up a fix for you. Uh, this one will be on the house. Let's see, I just need a little bit of powder, liver root, pinch of ground up foxglove. Ta-da! An anti-flower cannibalism potion. Okay, run along with this to Lily. Or, actually, wait, I just thought of something. Is it possible that this might have the side effect to make flowers want to eat human food instead of each other? Hmm. Well, it'll be an interesting experiment. You tell Lily that if her flowers stop growing, she can try feeding some leftovers or something. See if they like that better than sun and water. Thanks? <laughs> Uh, I've invented what I think to be the most magically tasty cat treats ever, but I need a real cat to test them out. I used to be a human, you know. My taste buds are a little unusual now that, it, now and I can't be sure, uh, what I will, if what I like will satisfy real kitties. Would you be a deer and bring me a cat <laughs> so it can try my new treats and see if it likes them? Sure thing. Ready? Here we go! Catapult! Okay. On Undermine, it's a game um, you have to die on to get better because every run in the game is different to your last one. Gotcha. Is it is it a roguelite? Because uh, I loved Hades. And that's kind of what you're describing where you each run you get a little bit better and you are stacking your starting build. I did the thing. You got a potion? I'll use this right away. There might be side effects. There always are. I'll figure it out. Th thanks so much for your help. Need anything? Nope. That's what I like to hear. It's quite like Hades. Oh, nice. Okay. Sweet. I'll definitely check that out. British, do you stream? I can't recall. You don't. Okay. That's a dog, not a cat. We need a cat, specifically. If you played on stream, you could get your chat to pick what kind of blessings or relics you could have. I loved doing that with Hades. I know that uh, Kai... Well, I got the, I got the idea from Kai. 
because his chat was so amazing with that. And it was really fun the couple of times that I did it. You don't have a good enough laptop for it, gotcha. Yeah, it can be a little demanding. Um, unless you're, like, streaming directly from a console. Which, like, it works. It's how I got started. Did you see how scared he was on the stream last night? I was lurking for a little bit, but, um... Uh, I wasn't watching too, too closely what what happened. He, what was he playing? I remember he was playing... What was it? Oh, that was a loud cat. Come on, buddy. I was, didn't realize it was that deep. Oh, Mass Effect. Right. Right, right, right. No, I didn't I didn't see see too much of that. I'll have to check out the VOD. Kai does a very good job at entertaining. Um, I'm always very impressed with his streams when I tune in. Um, I'm excited for him to play a game that I'm very familiar with sooner or later. Um, like, I hope he plays Outer Wilds at some point. That'd be really fun. I did the thing. Perfect. This cat will do wonderfully. Here you go. Please try... Oh, God. Oh, no. Please try these delicious sweets. Oh, no! Might have made the mistake in the recipe. Seems the cat will be just fine. Actually, they seem to like it. I'll see what I can do to fix this recipe, though. Thanks for your help. Here's a reward for you. You never know when you'll need a floating cat. That's what I always say. I liked this cat. I want this cat back. This cat, that's my cat. My cat. No. It's a cool little bubble in here. All right, I guess we'll go. Oh, is it following us? This is our floating cat now. We have a floating cat. So where am I? Oh, that's where I am. Oh, yeah, the cat's just following us. We've played that. Uh, it's about to leave Game Pass soon. It's, honestly, it's probably one of my favorite games. Um, I loved it. I was seriously impressed with it. Um every time that I played. Outer Wilds is like, it's one of those games that... How do I get this cat to stop? It might just be like that from now on. Which is inconvenient. Um... Oh, we're making this. Oh, God, this is so annoying. Oh, get out. Go away. Cat, please. Oh, God, everything's gone now. the butter. I, this must be a bug, right? This has got to be a bug. Like, this cat is not supposed to still be following us. Yeah, orc. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's not happy. This is a mad... This cat is angry. It's just as upset as we are. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. 
Uh, Undermines on Game Pass, so if you don't, so you don't need to pay for it if you have Game Pass. I actually don't have an Xbox. Um, cat. No, no, no. F. Quit. What do I do with this floating cat? Come here, you little monster. It's on PC. Game Pass is on PC? I thought Game Pass was just an Xbox thing. Am I wrong? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Alright, we did it. We fixed the cat. You get Game Pass for your PC as well. Okay, so it's it's kind of like, um, uh, it's, no, I don't want the cinnamon. It's kind of like PlayStation Now, where it's like, yeah, it's on PlayStation, but also you can download the app and then play games on your PC. That's cool. I'll have to check that out then, because everybody talks about Game Pass being, like, awesome. You can pay one dollar for the first three months. Yeah, that's what I did with uh, PlayStation Now when I tried that one. What? Butter. Come back. What's next? We need cream. We don't need the strawberry. No! Get out of here! You're not invited! Ye With the yeast, and then we're done. And we're getting out of this kitchen. What? Cat! Fucking cat. Yeah, here. Alright, we did it. Thank god. They're bringing Hades out for Xbox, which makes you so happy. Yeah. Oh, Harvey wants out. I'll let him out in a moment. Sandwich. It seems that if we keep the same food on display each day, the people get bored. Flour, butter, egg, tomato, that's an apple. Orange. Where's the tomato? Butter. Damn it! When you miss with the butter, it just goes forever. Come on. Gimme, give gimme, give come on! Gimme! Alright, got it. Oh, there's the tomato. Doggo, please! Oh no! God damn it! Uh, at least it doesn't go off the edge. Uh, you follow a bigger streamer who cooks and that's how you found out it was International Sushi Day. She's making sushi too. I guess I was just on point today. Who knew? Um, I had no idea that it was Sushi Day. So that was just like one big coincidence. Um, have I played the Life is Strange games? I love the Life is Strange games. They are some of my favorite games. Um, I played Tell Me Why um, recently, and I was really impressed with that, so I kind of want to check out the the other game uh, that came out around the same time as Tell Me Why, but it's like a ghost story, I think? A ghost crime story, something like that? Oh my god, it's a big sandwich. Um, tell me why it's free on Steam right now. Hey, Arco. Welcome in. How are you doing? Twin Mirror. Yeah, that's it. I Whenever I try to think of the name of Twin Mirror, I'm just like... Black, Black Mirror, Twin Peaks, mash the names together. Yeah, they made it free for Pride Month. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm so 
so happy they did that. That makes me really happy. Um, I'm really excited for their next game. I'm definitely, I think I'm going to play the remasters uh, when they come out. Um, and then I'm going to play the new game. So I'll like walk through the games that I have already played. Go away. Go away. Get off the counter. Get off the counter. Get off the counter. I've been playing games you didn't want spoiled for so long. You're glad to catch a stream. Oh, I know. I, that's that's just that's how it be sometimes. I'm glad that you're able to to stop in. Uh, I assume you were wanting to play Subnautica. I should really post on KY's stream when I or on his Discord when I go live too. I think I think I should do that. I, I try to, I don't like to uh, be in his streaming space too much because he's been streaming for, for so, so long and I'm like just getting started and like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be that person, you know? So I was like, I'll just do my own thing. But every now and again, I think I should post in there when I've got something going on. Um, display case. Let's swap some of these out. Let's let Harvey out. He is he is freaking out. It's a game you haven't been spoiled once on. Nice. I mean like it's it's so hard to avoid spoilers these days like Honestly, even when I'm playing a game on stream, like, it's so easy to get spoiled on something just by, like, a, a, a totally innocent comment in chat. And then it's like, oh, I just put two and two together. Um, these days, it's, like, impossible to avoid spoilers. It's like, if there's a game you don't want to, you don't want to be spoiled on, don't go on Twitter. Don't go on Reddit. Don't talk to anyone about it. Like, when I was playing Outer Wilds, I had to stop talking to coworkers about it because whenever I brought it up, they'd be like, oh, I love this game. Have you figured out this thing yet? And I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up, shut up right now. <laughs> so I just stopped bringing it up until I finished the game. You played Life is Strange and recently watched a streamer who played it for the first time in the game broke her emotionally. That game broke me. Um, the first time that I played it when I was in college, oh my god, Life is Strange. So, like, I smoked a lot of weed in college, you know? Uh, I went to art school. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. Um, but I was like, anytime a new episode came out, I was like, all right, let's let's smoke a bowl and and start this emotional roller coaster. And then I started episode five, um, and the start to that episode is heavy, um, and it just like I had to stop. I had to like take a break and take a step back and be like, you know what, this is not a game that I should play. Hi. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to make it. I want to put it in the display case. Hey, Songbird. Um, KY told us to come here or he'd hurt us. <laughs> of course he did. Uh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. Uh, display case. Songbird, how are you doing today? Your hair looks pretty. Thank you. I just got a haircut today. I'm really loving it. I um, it's never gonna look quite this good ever again. But you know, life is strange. Is a rough, rough game. You're surprised you didn't get Red Dead 2 spoiled. I actually haven't played Red Dead 2, and I don't know anything about it. I know like, I know like a very, I know the theme of it, right? Like I know that it's kind of like a westerny game. But I really don't know anything about the game other than that. 
Um, maybe I should check that game out. Alright, what else was new? This was new. Anything else that we just made? Um... The coffee's been out for a while. We'll do the cupcake. There we go. Apparently you make a lot more money if you switch everything every day. That's why we did all of that, by the way. In case anyone was curious. Alright, come here, my capybara friend. Doing well? How's everybody else doing? I'm doing quite well. <laughs> Watching me get chased by thick cats. Hell yeah. Life is Strange is on your list. Oh my gosh. Songbird, you gotta play it. It's one of my top games. It's in my top five for sure. It is... It's one of those games that, like, changed how I think about games. Uh, have you heard about the poison flowers at the beach? I have! I don't know how to get the beach open! Red Dead 2 is your number one game. Whenever anyone tells me that, like, their number one game is a game I haven't played, I, like, make a mental note. Because I fly through games so quickly now that I have no reason to not check out all the games that everyone's talking about. Like, I just need to make a point to do it. Make, uh, put that on the poll to do next. Oh, you absolutely must. It is, it is so good. What's for sale? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's all different now. All right. Oh, but that's a cool table. I want that. A basic bookshelf? Eh, I'll save my money. Any clothes? Yes, this is what we needed. Need that. We could get some floral deer ears. Or some regular deer ears. A rabbit tail. Cat tail. You don't even know your number one game of all time? Yeah, it's- I mean, I don't think I could really pick one to be, like, the one. Like, if you ask me top five, I could list off a few, you know? Um, Skyrim and Oblivion are up there. Yeah, so it's interesting. Skyrim used to be one of my top games, but these days, it's- Like, I still think it was a great game for its time, it just hasn't aged well. I- in my opinion. I don't think it's aged well. Knee-high boots. Do I have- don't I already have knee-high boots? What am I even wearing right now? Just a shirt. Let's- um, that's- that's fine. That's enough. How do I- five. Character. Clothes. Uh, where's my skirt? Outerwear? Shoes? I just bought stuff and I didn't get it. Maybe I should stop buying clothes. Bioshock and Final Fantasy, Fantasy 7. The most overrated game for you is The Last of Us. Overrated, really? I loved The Last of Us. It's probably up there in my top five. Also, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, 
I have to just talk to everyone until things get resolved. and Or until someone says that they can fix the problem. I guess I should go back over to the town. The other town, the city. Gosh, I hope Trixie's alright. Where the hell is Trixie? You'd say Life is Strange is in your top five somewhere. Yeah. Let me think. Alright, let me think. Top five games. I'm gonna list off a few. Uh, Journey, Life is Strange, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, Outer Wilds, um, The Last of Us are all definitely up there. Um, those are the ones that come to mind right now. There's definitely some others um, that are that are really there. Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, so Horizon is another weird one for me. I loved it the first time I played it. I loved it the second and the third time that I played it. Now when I go back to it, I notice a lot more flaws with it, and I'm, it makes me excited for the next one. Um, I think the next one they're gonna improve a lot of the problems of the first game. Like the balancing, I think was really bad in the in Horizon. Like you either do side quests and you level way too fast, or you don't do side quests and you like miss a bunch of content. But arguably, the uh, the side quests in that game weren't really worth playing? I don't know. There was only a couple I can remember that really stood out as like, oh, you should do these side quests as part of your experience of the game. But a lot of them were just like weird fetch quests. But like, the aesthetic, the overall story, like the main plot line, that was like absolute must play. But I don't know. I'm a harsh critic of games. So, like, something can be in my top five and I don't think it's a perfect game. Like, I don't think that The Last of Us is a perfect game. Not at all. It does a lot of things in the story that I didn't even really like. But I still thought it was, like, one of the best made games that I've ever played. Love the Hitman games. Doom Eternal. Okay, so I need to retry Doom. So, I played Doom um, on PlayStation and I got really stuck. It was just like a little bit too difficult on a controller. And I think I'd have a better time if I tried it on PC. How'd the dance competition go? Guess what? It was amazing! I can't thank you enough for encouraging me to go and helping me pick out my dance moves. You really boosted my confidence. And guess what else? I got second place! Hey, congrats! And yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to place at all against dancing cats feel like I can really follow my dreams of being a dancer now. Thanks again. Here, you should take this. Put it- put a little pep in your step. Hey. Maybe I'll see you at the next dance competition. Cool. Um, you have too many games that you like and it changes over time. Yeah, like, I feel like my- my taste in games has shifted a lot. Hitman is a game everyone enjoys but wouldn't put it in their top 10. <laughs> Fair. Oh, Resident Evil 8 again. I just saw that. Yeah, Resident Evil and Hitman are, are another couple of games that I just haven't played any of them. Um, from what I've seen about Hitman, it looks like a really funny game just because of how ludicrous it can get. Need anything? Um, Still help people feel at home in cafe if you had more different types of chairs. Oh yeah, I forgot that you're the chair lady. The chair police over here needs another chair of a different kind in my cafe. Alright, how many of you guys go to a restaurant and walk in and are like, no, fuck no, I need more variety of chairs. And then just leave. This lady's being picky. Hi. How's business? We actually could use some outside perspective. We were just discussing where we should have our company getaway this year. I've heard the Golden Grove is lovely at this time of year and so much quieter than the city. Oh, the cats are talking. Business cat one. Uh, isn't there a giant monster living in the Golden Grove? 
You really believe such a silly rumor? What if we had got a cabin in the mountains? We could spend every day at the hot springs. The hot springs with my coworkers? Like taking my tie off in front of y'all? No way, I'm too shy for that. What about the witching woods? They said there's a wild catnip uh, growing as far as the eye can see. Not going to the witching woods, I heard there are giant plants there that eat cats. We could rent a house in Heart Village. It's so quaint and cozy, I heard the ca cafe just reopened. Last time we went to the cat cafe, I made a complete fool of myself. I'll never live those pictures down. How about a staycation? We're so often blind to the beauty and culture all of us, uh, all around us. And blind to the beauty and culture, we could binge watch TV. This conversation is a staycation. If we want to spend a week in the city not getting any work done, we'll just keep this conversation going. Clover Coast. Hmm, it's quiet, scenic beach activities. Taking ties off is optimal. Yes, Clover Coast is perfect, but all the Clover Coast is off limit right now. Invasive species of toxic flowers. All right, we found it. We found the solution to the beach. That's awful. Hmm. Made my decision. At the lar uh, the largest company on the island, it is our responsibility to uh, revitalize re oh, this public space. You, the one that's not a cat, as far as I know. Meow? How would you like to work for us uh, as a temporary consultant? Your goal is to make the beach safe again. I was going to do that anyway. Fantastic. I suggest you start by finding a flower expert. If, um, if you need help, uh, you have the Cat Corporation's resources at your disposal. Find a flower expert. All right, great. <laughs> we did it. We progressed the main story. Okay. Um, you need all the different chairs. I don't do that. Uh, I think I said this in loose stream, but I don't think I've ever had to return food at a restaurant. Nothing I ate was ever that bad. I, I've done it once, I think. Um, and I felt really bad about it. I got a burger, a veggie burger, at a vegan restaurant. And it was like, it was so greasy that I just like, I couldn't, I couldn't eat it. Um, and like, I felt really bad, but like, I also wanted to, to have lunch. You know. Oh, I don't know if I can go up this way, can I? If I can't, I'll just teleport back to the, uh... Oh, I can! This is open now. Great. How convenient. Can you imagine wanting to take a vacation from here to here? Like, this is, like, that's a vacation for you? Just, like, going up this, this little ledge? Right, we need to find a flower expert. Need to find Trixie at some point. Oh, let me guess. You are at the cafe. Let's try talking to him first before I teleport over there. And then we can set up another... Uh, We can set up a another chair. This music is so lovely. Okay. Where is this lady at? Oh, I fell. Cats everywhere. All right, furniture. What is that? Oh, it's a bunny. I was like, what the hell? Spooky. Let's let's throw our spooky chair next to here. Need a chair. Oh wow, this is a large rug. Oh, I love it though. Oh, it's so cute. This game is so fucking cute. I can't take it. Oh, 
Oh, I guess these have to go outside. I just need a chair. Chair. I guess it's gonna be the bunny chair, even though I don't like it. Alright, we got a bunny chair, we got- we got this chair, and we got that chair. I hope that's enough chairs. Let's- you know what, let's put out the cat bed, too. I don't need any more tables. Okay. But where's our- where's our flower friend? Where'd she go? Escape. Escape. She's back there now. God damn it. I didn't see her. Back we go. My plan... My loose plan is to play this game until it's done tonight. I just don't think I have that much left. I know I've played at least six hours, and when I looked up the how long to beat, the main game plus extras was six hours. I also don't mind having a long stream today. That was kind of my plan with the, the cooking and the baking and... Not baking, just cooking. Not even cooking. What do you call sushi making? Is it, um, assembly? Oh my, yes, I encountered that myself recently. Clover Coast used to be one of my favorite napping spots. Oh, and to grab a few new flowers uh, when I could. Can you clear the poison flowers? I would love to, but they wouldn't let me in. They said it was too dangerous for the public. I even showed them my badge to prove my flower authority. They said my badge was just a flower in my, uh, in my lap, lapple. I said, exactly. I could try, um, appealing to Mayor Kiva, though. She doesn't do much ordering people around, but she is technically in charge around here. All right, let's go ask Kiva. But yeah, my other ideas for future streams, um, like I did get the, the itch.io bundle, um, so I still want to play a bunch of like random games from that and just see what I like. Um, let's save. I haven't saved in a while. Um, or checking out some of the, some of the Steam, um, demo from the event going on right now. It's a lot of a lot of games. I know KY was playing some the other day. Hey friendo, uh, how are you doing today? Poison flowers. So beautiful, so dangerous. It's far too risky for you to handle them. Poppy sent me. Gasp, the father of flowers himself. Well, of course I trust Poppy. He's the one that identified the flowers in the first place. Oh, but this would be a huge project, and the island is all out of public funds right now. Maybe we could do a fundraiser, a bake sale, a pet wash? Cat Corp also sent me. The Cat Corporation itself? Well, they're footing the bill, then what are we waiting for? Go tell Poppy to start right away. Great. Good. This, is, this game is a lot of running back and forth, I will, I will say that. The map is pretty small overall, though, so it's, like, not a, not a, a huge drag. I thought by now I would be kind of annoyed with the music, but I'm still just kind of grooving to it. It's just, it's, it's pretty inoffensive. It doesn't get stuck in your head. Go the flowers! Great news! Uh, why don't you go call it a day and get some rest? I'll have these poisonous flowers gone before sunrise. That's the trick, you see. The best way to avoid angering the flowers is to sneak up on them while they're sleeping. Sure. Magic flowers. 
What's for sale? Brick garden path. That's cool. Succulent carpet. Succulent chair. Is anyone in chat a plant person? I want the bush. I want that. And I kind of want that too. Just get a little bit of everything, right? Let me up. So what was up with Trixie? I kind of wanted to figure that out. Uh, this is not the right one. Let me out. Steve's Tower. There are actually, there are a lot of areas that I haven't even been to yet. Have we met Trixie? I have to talk to Lee. Okay. I don't know Trixie yet. You know what? Let's check my quest one more time. We just have to talk to Lee, go to sleep. Talk to Steve when you have a basic display chest in your inventory. I guess I should go pick that up since I have it. Talk to Freya. Trixie the raccoon. Ooh. I just have to talk to everybody. I've done most stuff. Uh, the raccoon I've definitely seen around. I think it might even be at my cafe. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't need to walk back. There we go. Ta-da! Excuse me. Are you the Trixie the raccoon? Nope. Oh, uh, let me let me go. Oh my god, there's too many animals. Alright, come. We're gonna deliver this raccoon. Go, Capybara, go! I like trying to glitch the... try to break the game ever so slightly. Hey! I did the thing! We're back! Trixie, you little scamp! Where have you been? You made me worried sick. Uh, you better not have been getting sandwiches from anyone else. I know you like mine the best. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot you were there. I guess I was just so excited to see Trixie. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Poor guy. <laughs> Thanks so much for your help. Here you go. Recipe for boba tea! Favorite drink in the world. I bet your customers will love it. Go to the cafe. All right, let's go to sleep. I don't know if it'll let me sleep in the middle of the day. We'll try. Sweet. 
Game saved. What is this Discord notification? Is it important? I don't even know what it is. Ah. Y'all, how many Discords are you in? Out of curiosity. Because I am in too many. <laughs> I have to, like... I, I, like, try to rotate them. Of, of which one I'm active in at any given time. Otherwise, it's just, like, completely overwhelming. Oh, yeah, and there was something I had to do for Steve, right? I have to- I have to get the display case. I'll do that while I'm here. Alright, alright. I think it was the cute one that I need. How do I just pick it up? How do I just keep it? There. Oh, it's a basic one that I need. Alright, alright. I'll just put this one there. We're going back to the city. Probably 30 plus, but you only look at three of them. Oh my gosh. 30 is crazy. I pro I'm probably in 20. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I like... There are... Uh, there are two or three that I actually like read every day and post in sometimes. I don't post in Discord that much. If I do post, it's usually in my own Discord. Um... I've actually been considering adding a new, or, or ch chatting with people about adding a new um, subcategory to our shared Discord of just like an IRL one. So like when people uh, take a good selfie or um, I don't know, whatever, any kind of IRL stuff that you would post on Facebook, but you don't want to because you don't use Facebook anymore, you know, that kind of thing. I thought that'd be kind of fun because people can, like, mute it and ignore it, but also post things. <laughs> That's how Discord works, right? Uh... Who are you? Lee. I want to talk to you about something. Did you ever beat the claw machine? Your timing is uncanny. I just did it! Finally freed the bunny plushie from that cursed machine. Just in time too. It's Maribel's birthday. I can't believe how many time how many tries it took me. Thank goodness. I've squandered so much time in the arcade, and I had some other things I really need to get done today. Uh, is there any way I could ask you for another favor? Could you bring it to Maribel for me? Let her know it's from me. Yeah, sure. I did the thing. You got the chairs. That's great. Can't wait to try them out. So we found a couple more chairs. Why stop at five? Why not keep going? Infinite chairs. Uh, okay. Quest. Who's Maribel? Maribel. Oh, okay. At the clothing shop. Alright, we'll get back over there sooner or later. Make a similar channel. I feel like it would be a good one to have. Because I don't know about you, but I, I like just kind of... Posting daily life stuff every now and again. Or just rename your pics and videos to selfies. I mean, that's not far from the truth. Oh, shit, I can go this way. Yeah, that's kind of what they, they the channels can devolve to. So I'm like, I'm kind of torn. So the way we have our Discord set up right now... It's very streamlined. We've got, like, the general, and then we have a couple of subtopics, but not very much. And I like that because when the st when the general Discord doesn't have a lot of communication going on, if you just keep subdividing and subdividing and subdividing, they'll just- they'll never be conversations happening. 
So it's like, should we do an IRL thing or should we just put everything in general and just roll with it? And if it gets annoying, then we'll move stuff. I don't know. Like, we were going to do a food one for that same reason, but it's like no one is really posting food. So it's like, is it even a problem right now? Do we need a subcategory for food? I did the thing. Oh, great. You brought the display case. Thank you. Let's try it. Wow, it worked. Okay, this is big. This is going to be the next big thing in potion making. Potions that can change furniture styles. Just you wait. Take a look at the display case now. See what you think. Oh, and uh, take this as a thanks. Cool, cool. Still can't let you through. Take it up with the city, not me. What? Oh, okay. We have to go talk to the, the business cats again. I feel like uh, picture-based channels do well. Yeah, they definitely do. They definitely do. Make a politics channel. <laughs> uh, I feel like a politics channel in my Discord would just be, like, everyone hating Trump. And that would be the whole thing. I don't think there's a lot of discourse amongst politics in my Discord. But I can see that being chaos very quickly. Very, very quickly. <laughs> Generals just for saying hello at this point. Yeah, good morning! Happy Friday, everybody! I, I like it. I think it's sweet. Clover Coast is open. I knew I could count on you. Investing uh, in friendship always pays, uh, pays dividends. Here's your payment for a job well done. Remember to treat yourself. I'm gonna swim in the ocean. I don't even care if... Something icky touches my foot. I'm gonna roll in the flowers until I smell nice. I'm gonna bury myself in sand. I'm gonna binge read some books. I'm gonna nap in the sun for a week straight. Oh, we have so much money now. So much money. I don't have a main quest right now. I guess we just have to go to this new area. Let's do it. Let's check it out. Still haven't been to like the mushroom area. Ugh. It's only nine. It feels a lot later. Had a busy day. It's... I really didn't realize how badly I needed time off of work. It has been so relaxing. Like, yesterday I got to spend the whole day with KY... And then today, I, like, did my own thing. I got a haircut. And then I did the sushi-making stream, which was really, really fun. And, like, if I had done all that stuff on a normal weekend and I had work tomorrow, it would feel like a huge drag because I didn't even have a chance to relax because I was just so busy. But now it's, like, tomorrow, I'm going to potato hard. You know? Like... Maybe I'll throw some cookies in the oven or something, but then I'm going to eat all of them while laying in bed and watching a movie. Like, that's my plan for tomorrow, and I am excited about it. It's, it's hard to enjoy doing nothing when you don't have a lot of time to get other things done, you know? Or, like, when just, like, stress is just, like, overwhelming. Like, I just had a lot of stuff going on outside of, like chores and things, you know? Family stuff. Oh, these cupcakes are popular. Um, do you ever feel like a lighthouse? No? It's not about pushing people away or pulling people in. You just have to stand tall, shine bright, and help guide whoever you can to safer shores. That's actually a really cute analogy. I also like playing with flashlights in the dark. It's always fun. I'm Kai. You must be the new cat cafe person. Cats like playing with flashlights too, just saying. Uh, how do I reach Golden Grove? Oh, there used to be a bridge from here to Golden Grove, but it got destroyed in a storm. Um, then it never got repaired because of the poison flower situation. Thanks for helping with that, by the way. There should be another entrance from Heart Village, though. At the bottom of the hill where Autumn lives, there's a big hollow log that will take you to Golden Grove. Once you're in the Golden, once you're in Golden Grove, you can help me repair the bridge from the other side. Good luck. The giant cat butt. I beg your pardon. The giant cat butt blocking the entrance. Oh, 
I know that, but that butt is a troublemaker. I don't know where that giant cat came from, uh, but it has been causing mischief everywhere it goes. Luckily, I'm prepared for this situation. Well, not fully prepared. I have to, um, but I have an idea I've been wanting to try. I've ordered a special item from Estelle's general store a while ago, but the flowers blocked me from blocked me in before I could get it. Be a deer and go pick up from Estelle for me. I have preparations to make. Also, I should probably keep an eye on those business cats. I don't want those goofs hurting themselves. Alright, cool. So we're gonna go back to Estelle. Estelle kinda like runs this place. I know that there's a mayor, but Estelle is like in charge. She she controls the outcome for everybody. Um, you know what? Where is Estelle? Where am I? I'm all the way down here. Please be at my cafe. Damn it. It's Autumn. Where is she? Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay. Uh... You know what? Let's just walk there from here. Let's try going up these stairs. It'll at least be a more interesting walk. Oh, look at the horse! What the hell is that? Hello? Are you faster? Yes! Oh, it's faster. We got in a speed up. I'm sorry, Capybara. You're a good boy. But but the, the horse is, is uh, more efficient, maybe. Uh, up, up, up. Yes. No, god damn it. No! Alright. There is no walk button, by the way. You either sprint or... Uh, Oh, you just sprint. You just sprint. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ha! We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Yeah! Alright, here we go. Estelle, I need you, my baby. She's my bae. She's my bae in this game. She's my favorite. Darling, so good to see you. Special item for Kai? Oh good, this came a special order from off the island. It's not every day that someone needs a giant glass lens. Oh, what? No, I'm still talking to you. I don't. Alright, wait, just return. Okay. Jump. Oh, this 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 speed up actually is like really nice. <laughs> Excuse me, doggo. Hey, Kai. Giant lens. Giant cats call for giant lens. If that mischief maker wants to play, then let's play. I'll put the lens on the lighthouse. Uh, then you take over the controls, just point it at the woods, and it should get its attention. Whoa. Oh my god. All right, it was a success. Uh, it wouldn't let me click. Let me try again. I'm just, come on. Arrgh. I should just get off the horse. All right, I'm getting off the horse. <laughs> Follow me. I don't want to ever not have you. It worked? Wow, really? I mean, of course it worked. I didn't doubt it for a second. Oh, here, take this laser pointer toy. And animals uh, in your cafe will love it. I wonder 
where the cat ended up, though. We should probably head to Golden Grove and see. Sure. We'll take our horse. Gonna take my horse to the old town road. That song is, like, really catchy. I can't even make fun of it because it's actually, like, really catchy. Oh, I don't think I can... Can I climb? No. No, I cannot. Alright. Uh, let's teleport. And then... I think it was this way? That's not it. Is it this way? Let's just check the map. Yeah, yeah, it's down there. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Found it. Oh, we're getting new cats. That's a cute one. Go to the cafe. What was that? Estelle Von Snuggle Bond? Something like that? It's funny. More doggos. There's a lot of dogs in this game for a cat cafe. Aw, hey bud. You're blocking another path, it seems. Ask around the Golden Globe to find more information. Oh, stretch. I haven't even seen any people. That looks like a house, though. Oh, we found somebody. Alright, alright. Oh, you're a mouse. Hi. Squeak. Oh, sorry, you startled me. I, I don't get too many visitors in the deep woods, let alone a new person. My name is Daisy. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard so many nice things about the cat cafe, but I've never been there myself. I have nothing against cats, but uh, something about them makes me a bit uneasy. Witching Woods? You saw that giant uh, scary cat too? It wasn't just my imagination? Oh dear. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do to help you. The world is so big and I am so small. I mean, the cat is so big, that is. Rosa is the only one who lives in the witch's woods, but there's no way for us to contact her with that cat in the way. Rosa's sister, Autumn, used to live in the Witching Woods, but she moved to Heart Village. Perhaps she can help you. Alright, we're going to talk to Autumn. That's Autumn. And we have to talk to Maribel, Freya, and Safina. Safina is in the city. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna teleport. Yeah. When I was at H Mart earlier, I got a bunch of Daifuku. I don't know if anyone loves Daifuku. Wait, you're not even here? God, at least it's a lot faster for me to get up here.
What? No, it says you're here. Did I just not see you? No, horse, don't go. Oh, God. Well, there it went. I needed that horse. Oh, it's over there now. Can I come in here? Oh, I can. Readings. Witching Woods? Yes, I used to live over there. It's a beautiful place, overflowing with chaotic, magical energy. Living there can be a bit exhausting, though, which is why I scooped up my house in the magic bottle and moved it here. Anyway, my sister Rosa lives there. Oh, I miss her. I should visit her soon. How do we get in? Uh, there's a tree door in the north that's usually sealed to keep the magic from getting out. The only one who can open it right now is Rosa, who is currently on the other side of the door. Oh, but I heard you cleared the way to Golden Grove recently. There's another entrance to the Wishing Woods from there. A giant cat sleeping. Ah, beans. Aw, beans. The giant cat has been a real nuisance lately. We should probably figure out what's going, uh, going on there. A cat that size should have come, could have only come from Witching Woods, and now it can't decide to go in or out. What do you think it wants? Uh. To eat. Of course, it's been on its own outside of Witching Woods for a while now. It must be starving. But a cat like that won't be satisfied with dry food. No, not even fancy wet food will do. The only way it could get this big is by feeding off magical energy of Witching Woods. So we need to cook up some magic energy feast. I've got it. We'll get a big pinch of moose... Moosey? Mousey? And infuse it with all the magic we can get our hands on. A giant kitty will require a giant magic, though. Uh, way more than I can do myself. This island is full of people that can help us out, though. Just take the mousey to each of the witches um, and have them imbue it with some of their own brand of magical energy. Start off with autumn. Don't worry, it doesn't smell that much. Oh my god, I have to talk to everybody now. I really want my horse back. I guess I'll... I guess we'll take our trusty capybara. It's gonna feel so slow compared to the horse. Horse! Horse, please! Come down from here this instant! Please, horse! Alright. It's fine, it doesn't want to talk to us. Ash, Autumn, Estelle, Lumi, and Sin. Okay. Uh, nope, I don't want to talk to you. Horse! Oh, it's nighttime now. Oh my god, I love the horse so much. Ash! I need your magic. You need magic mouse trick giant cat? Say no more, I got you. So good to see you, magic mouse! Giant mouse, you say? How exciting. Of course, dear, I can lend you a bit of my magic. And you, I just had to talk to you, right? I wanted to talk to you about something. Happy birthday! Lee wanted you to have this. Oh, plus you're from the arcade that I said I liked. Lee really pays attention to details. It's so beautiful and cute. I'll treasure it. When you see him again, will you give him a big thank you? Yeah, sure. Alright. Uh, next we need Lumi and Sin, which are in the city. Where is Lumi? Lumi is up here. Right. Okay. I'll go this way first.
I like that it just lets you fall once you've progressed enough in the story. Is this new music? I think this is new music. I did the thing. She loved it. Hope it brings her happiness on her special day. Thanks for your help. Also hold some other plushies. Oh, I want those. That's exciting. All right. We're starting to kind of just rush through these a little bit. Some of these just like completion. Oliver, what's for sale? Whoa, a bunch of stuff. Cheesecake recipe. I want it. A plush. Brad Cat Throne. Sloth toy. What? D Kitty plush. Cream puff. Okay. I did the thing. Don't answer that because I'm gonna answer it for you. Business is great. Here's what you made on your investments. And your business cats were so happy for the support. Hell yeah. Um, where's our last person? Isn't Sin down here? Yeah. Should be around here somewhere. There you are. Hi! Magic Mouse! I want to help it get home. I've been meaning to visit the Wishing Woods. I'll hug the giant kitty when I get there. Anyway, here's some magic for you. I'll put an extra hug power into all my magic. Very nice. All right. And now we are going to teleport back. Perfect. And we'll go up the mountain. Da -da -da. I feel bad that we're making that capybara follow us because it is going to be having a rough time keeping up. It's just, it's going as fast as it can. It's trying. Alright, I am so paranoid about this horse leaving. Follow me. Do not go anywhere. I need you. Oh my god, I'm so afraid for that horse. Hope you're doing well. I need your magic. Fortunate timing. Made some catnip scented bath bombs. Never seen so much magic in one object. Looks ready to go. Uh, and now we're gonna... Now we're gonna go back. Let's teleport down again. That seems to be just, like, the best. Oh yeah, the bridge might be fixed now. I can probably just go down, though. Yeah. Once you've unlocked the area, I like that you don't need to use the bridges anymore. Oh, hey, new person. Gabby. Next week is Mr. Bear's birthday. I make birthday presents for every animal in the gro at Golden Grove. Always remember to make animal presents out of edible materials, though. Oh, wait, you're not an animal, are you? Either way, my name is Gabby. It's nice to meet you. Oh, I want to talk to you again. Need anything? Can I ask you for some help? What's up? I've been feeling a little overwhelmed just having moved here. Need something to help with my stress. Or I could say someone. I decided I want to get a pet. I'll have a furry friend to look after and play with. It's the best. Um, so here's why I need your help. I can't decide. 
I think I want to get started with a dog, but I can't decide on the breed. There's just too many choices. You want a big dog, a little dog, something in between? I don't even know. I feel like I'll just know it when I see it, you know? Maybe something fluffy with a curly tail? Okay, I'll see if I can find a dog looking for some love. Aw, the deer. I like the deer. What is that like? Is that this? Oh, that's the, uh, the laser beam. Aw. Warthog. Let me talk to you already. Hello, cat. Is it under furniture? Toys? How do I use the toy? Uh, how do I use the toy? Uh, game. Hello, game. I can try plugging in a controller. Let's save first. I hope this works. Please work. Please, please work. Please work. Okay. How do I use the toy? What? I'm gonna Google it. Calico game, can't use toy. The secret of the Witch's Woods quest glitch. I assuming when equipping the toy, the cat would respond by moving out of the way. Instead, the cat sleeps, does nothing. I have the toy complete when I equip it and walk up to the cat, nothing happens. And equip. Boy. Huh. Is this just like a bug in my version of the game? that I can't equip the toy. You guys. Am I just screwed? Can I just like not finish the game? 
Because I remember not being able to equip the toy earlier. Like, I don't think that's just in this launching of the game. Um... Q is used toy. Oh, thank God. Oh, good. I was so worried. Oh, my God. Wait, what? And then we just get credits? Hold on tight. I guess, I guess we finished the game. We just, we, we did the last quest. I'm gonna wait a moment. We'll wait for these credits to, to end. I think these are all backers. Kickstarter backers. It's a lot of names. Yeah, it's a lot of backers. That that ending was so abrupt that I am confused. It was so abrupt. Yeah, super bizarre. Okay. Oh gosh, are you okay? I'm so sorry about that. I taught Kitty not to bite people, but they must have really wanted your toy. The giant cat is yours? Oh yes. I've raised them since they were a kitten. I thought they were just hiding from me lately, but I guess they got through the magic barrier I put around Witching Woods somehow. Oh my god, look at that cat. Look at that cat. In the background. I want that. I've been so focused on perfecting flying magic lately, I completely ignored my poor sweet baby. They wanted my attention so much that they went out and haunt, uh, hunted a toy mouse just to bring it home to me. I'll never ignore you again, my good, good baby. Flying magic? Yes, I finally got my flying broomstick working. If we're about to fly, that'd be very exciting. Would you like to try it out? I need to collect as much test data as I can. You can keep it as long as you want, and thank you for bringing my kitty home. And uh, apologize for you almost getting eaten. Yes, please. Okay. Just to use this potion to summon your broom. I promise it's safe. What was the name of this cat? <coughs> Boots. My cafe is full. Alright, follow me. I will bring you to the cafe. Oh, man. Hold up. That is a Cory. I mean, I, I guess that the rest of the game is just kind of open, and so they're like, we'll just throw the credits here and then you can keep playing. Super bizarre ending. Not what I expected. What's up with you, you weird cat? Oh, what's up with this one? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> I probably should have gone down a little bit first. Um...
Where's this raccoon? No, get up. I want to pick up the raccoon. No, I want to pick up the raccoon! Oh, I did it. Be free. Get out of here. Go to the cafe. I am so confused over that credits roll right there. Um, because we still have quests. It's still like, go tell the mayor that everything's, everything's resolved. I, I like the broom. The broom feels very satisfying after after the whole game. Oh, how are you doing? Let me out. Let me out. I'm stuck. I was joking when you when you when I asked you to do that. That's amazing. Proud of you. Not everyone on the island can visit your ca uh, now everyone on the island can visit your cat cafe. Feel free to take a vacation and every pet animal you find and pet every animal you find. At least that's what I would do. All right. We did it. We completed the game. We did the whole game. There's obviously a lot of side quests that we didn't do. At least a handful. Um, that we didn't finish. But I think that's okay. Very cute game. Very cute game. I feel like it was the right length. I think any longer, and I would have started to get a little bit... A little frustrated with it, you know? Let's see. I would like to make the corgi smaller. much better. All right, well. Let's see. Let me switch over to my full cam. That was Calico. I I really liked it. I really really liked it. It wasn't in my top favorite games or anything, but it was um it was more than I expected, which was just really cute. Uh, I thought it was just going to be a really cute experience, and I would just play it for a half hour and then be done with it, and I ended up playing the whole thing. Um, I, I liked the characters, I liked the, uh, the design of the characters, and I like how inclusive this game is. I think that's where it really shines, is it's a very inclusive, cute indie game. Um, yeah. I don't have too much else to really say about it. Like, um... It was pretty good. I was impressed with it. Let's see. Who else is online? Def a cute little game. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it, it let me know exactly what to expect with, with its advertising, right? They're like, this is a cute game where you run a cat cafe. Um, and most of it is like running errands. Some of it has to do with your cafe, but a lot of it doesn't, but you know, um, I don't know how much else they could really make it a cat cafe game without it just being like a, a job simulator, you know? So I don't have any complaints. I'm, I'm eager to get on to something else. I, I think I already said this, but I think it was the right length. If it was any longer, it would have been too long. Um, I did think that the freedom when I got the horse of like being able to go from one area to another very quickly was super important. Um, and I wish I'd gotten that earlier. Uh, because needing to go up to the top of the mountain like multiple times was a drag um or from one end of the map to the other was a drag uh but otherwise i thought i i don't mind fetch quests that much so i thought it was fun i was into it let's take a look and see who's online and set up a raid here <laughs> 